Chapter 7 Internal Conversion in Contemporary Bali Every race had, has its lumber room of, lo of magical beliefs and practices and many such survivals are gracious and beautiful and maintaining the continuity of a civilization. It is to be hoped that modern materialist ideas will not obliterate them entirely and leave Malay culture genuine. Richard Winstead, Winstead the Malay magician. We hear much these days about political and economic moderni modernization in the new states of Asia and Africa but little about religious modernization. When not ignored entirely, religion tends to be viewed either as rigidly archaic obsta obstacle to needed progress or a beleaguered conser conservator of precious cultural values treated it by the corrosive powers of rig rapid change. Little attention is paid to religious develop development, development in an in and of itself, on regu to regularities of transformation which occur in the ritual and belief belief systems of societies undergoing comprehensive social revolutions. At best, we get studies of the role that established religious commitments and identifications play in political or economic processes. But our view of Asia and African religions as such is oddly st static. We expect them to prosper or decline. We do not expect them to change. We respect to Bali perhaps the most richly stocked lumber room of gracious and beautiful magical beliefs and practices in Southeast, Southeast Asia. Such as approach is virtually universal on the dilemma of choosing between a Kishotic cultural antiquarianism and a barren cultural materialism seems therefore to be an especially cruel one. In this essay, I want to suggest that this dilemma is, in all likelihood, a false one, that the continuity of Balinese civilization can be maintained, though the fundamental nature of its religious life be totally transformed. And further, I want to point, I want to, point to a few faith on certain things, signs, certain signs that such a transformation is in fact already on the way. The concept of religious rationalization. In his great work of comparative religion, the German sociologist Max Weber set four of distinction between two idealized polar types of religions in, the, in world history. The traditional and the rationali rationalized, which, if it is over overgeneralized and completely formulated, is yet a useful starting point for a discussion, discussion of the process of genu gen genuinely religious change. The axis of this contrast turns upon a difference in the relationship between religious concepts and social forms. Traditional religious concepts, Weber also calls them magical, rigidly stereotyped, established social practices. Inextricably, inextricable, inextricably, bound, inextricably bound up with secular custom in, al, in an almost point, point per point manner, they draw all branches of human activity into the circle circle of symbolic magic and so ensure that the stream of everyday existence continues to flow steadily within a fixed and far firmly up outlined course. Rationalized, concept, rationalized concepts, however, are not so trov trov 
thoroughly, roughly, thoroughly other view it with a concrete details of ordinary life. They are apart, above, of, or outside of them, and the relations of the systems of ritual and belief in which they are embodied of to secular society are not intimate and unexamined, but distant and problematic. A rational, a rationalized religion is to the degree that it is rationalized, self-conscious and worldly, worldly wise. Its attitude to secular life may be various from the resigned acceptance of genteel Confucianism to the active mastery of aesthetic Protestantism, but it is never na naive. With this difference in relationship between the religious real and the secular goes a difference also in the structure of the religious realm itself. Traditional religions consist of a multiple of very concretely defined and only loosely ordered sacred entities and un an undid untidy collection of fuzzy, fuzzy rituals, acts, and vivid anim animistic images which are able to involve themselves in, a in, the, in an independent, segmental, and immediate manner with almost any sort of actual event. But system, for despite their lack of formal regularity, they are systems. Meet the per perennial concerns of religion that Weber called the problems of meaning, evil, suffering, frustration, bafflement, and so on. Piecemeal. They attack them op opportunistically as they arise in each particular instance, each death, each crop failure, each un out outward, un each untoward natural or social occurrence. Employing one or another weapon chosen on grounds of symbolic appro appropriate appropriateness from the cluttered arsenal of myth and magic with respect to the less defensive activities of religion, the celebration of human continuity, pro prosperity and solidarity, the same strategy is employed as the approach of As, <clears throat> as the approach to fundamental spiritual issues with traditional religions taking discreet, discreet and irregular, so also is their characteristic form. Rational, rational, rationalized religions, on the other hand, are more abstract, more logically coherent, coherent and more generally phrased. The problems of meaning, which is traditional systems, are expressed only implicitly and fragmentally. Here are get inclusive formulations and evoke comprehensive attitudes. They, they become conceptualized and universal and inherent qualities and inherent qualities of human existence as such, rather than being seen as inseparable aspects of this or that scientific event. The question is no longer put merely in such terms as, to use a classical example from the British anthropologist Evans Pritchard, why has the gra granary fallen on my brother and not on someone else's brother? Br someone else's brother. <laughs> But rather, why do, why do the god die young and the evil flourish and the green, at the Green Bay tree? or to escape from the conventions of Christian theo theodicy. N theodicy not. By what means can I discover who practiced witchcraft against my brother, thereby causing, causing the granary to fall on him? But how can one know the truth? Not what specific action must I perform in order to wreak vengeance upon the witch, but what are the bases upon which punishment of heavy dollars can be justified? The narrowed, concrete questions, of course, remain, but they are sub 
subsumed under the broader ones who, who's more radically <coughs> who's more radically disquieting suggestions they therefore bring forward and with and with the raising of the broader ones in a stark and general form in a stark and general form arises also the need to answer the, to answer them in an equally sweeping, universal, and conclusive manner. The so-called world religions developed, Weber argued, as responses to the appearance in an acute form of just this sort of need, Judaism, Confucianism, philosophical Brahmanism, and though on the surface it might not seem to be a religion at all, Greek rationalism, it emerged out of a myriad of paro parochial cults, folk mythologies, and, and a dog by, and a dog be by beliefs whose powers and begun to fail for certain crucial groups in the societies concerned. This sense, on the part largely of on the part largely of religious intellectuals that the traditional conglomerate of rituals and beliefs was no longer adequate and the rise to cons consciousness of the problems of meaning in an explicit form seems to have been part in each case of a much wider dis dislocation in the pattern of traditional life. The details of such dislocations or of those amidst which l later world religions descended from this fierce, f this fierce four appeared, need not detain us. What is important is that the process of religious ra rationalization seems everywhere to have been provoked by a uh, thorough uh, shaking of the foundations of social order. Provoked not, but not determined, for aside from the fact that profound social crisis has not always produced profound religious creativity, or any creativity at all, the lines along which such creativity has moved, has moved when it, it was appeared have been most va varied, varied, ha has been most varied. Weber's whole grand comparison of the religions of China, India, Israel, and the West, West, and the West rested on the notion that, that they represented variant directions of rationalization, con contrastive choices among a finite set of possible develop, develop, developments away from magical realism. What these diverse systems had in common was not the specific context of their message, which depend, which deepened in its particularly as it expanded in its scope, but the formal pattern, the generic mode in which it was cast. In all of often, the sense of sacredness was gathered up, like so many scattered ray of lights brought to focus in a lens from the countless tree spirit and garden spells through which to which it was vaguely diffused and was con con concentrated in a nucleate though not necessarily monotheistic concept of the divine the world was in weber's famous phrase this Dishanted, the locus of sacredness was removed from the roof trees, graveyards, and road crossing of everyday life, and put in some sense into another realm where dwell Jawed, Logos, Tao, or Bra Brahman. With this tremendous increase in distance, so to speak, between man and the sacred ghosts, and the sacred goes the necessity of sustaining the ties between them in a such more deliberate and critical manner, as the divine can no longer be apprehended and passed through numberless concrete, almost reflexive ritual gesture, 
strategically inters interspersed throughout the general round of life, the establishment of a more general and comprehensive relationship to it becomes. Unless one is to abandon concern with, with it altogether imperative, Weber saw two main, main ways in which this can be brought about. One is through the construction of a consciously system, systematic, systematized systematized formal legal moral code consisting of ethical commands conceived to have been given to men by the divine through prophets, holy writings, miraculous indications, and so on. The other is true is through direct individual experimental contact with the divine via mysticism, insights, aesthetic intu intuition, etc. Often with the assistance of various sorts of highly organized spiritual and intellectual disciplines, such as yoga. The first approach is of course typically, though not exclusively Mid-Eastern. The second typically, though also not exclusively East Asian, but whether as seems, as seems unlikely these are the only two possibilities or not, they both to bridge, to bridge the enormously widened gap or attempt to bridge, to bridge it between the profane and the sacred in a self-conscious, methodological, explicitly coherent manner. They maintain for those who are committed to them a sense of a meaningful tie between man and the removed divine. As with, as with all Weber's Polar contracts, however, that between traditional and rational, the opposite of which is not irrational but unrationalized, is an roughly is a truly blurred in fact that it is sharply drowned in theory. In particular, it must not be assumed that the religions of non literate peoples are wholly lacking in rationalized elements and those of literate ones rationalized through 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 and through not only too many so called primitive religions show the results of significant amount of self conscious criticism but a popular religi religiosity of a traditional sort persists with great strength in societies where religious though Though was attained its highest search reach of philosophical sophistication. Yet, in relative terms, it is hardly to be doubted that the world religions show greater conceptual generalizations. Tiger, tiger formal integra integration and more explicit sense of doctrine that do the little ones of clan, tribes, village or, or folk. Religious rationalization is not an all or, all, all or none, an irreversible or inevitable process, but empirically it is a real one. Traditional Balinese religion. All the Balinese are, in, in a broad sense, Hindu, Hindus. One might expect that a significant part, at least, of their religious life will be relatively well rationalized, that over and above the usual torrent of popular religiosity, there will exist a developed, a developed, a developed system of either ethical or mystical theolo theology. Yet, this is n not the case. A number of over-intellectualized descriptions of it to the contrary, notwithstanding, notwithstanding Balinese religion, even among the priest is, is concrete, action-centered, truly inter interwoven with the details of everyday life, and touched with little, or if, me, if any, of the philosophical sophistication of generalized concern of classical Brahmanism or its Buddhist offshoots. 
Its approach to the problems of meaning remains implicit, circumscribed, and segmental. The world is still enchanted, enchanted, and some recent stirrings, aside for the moment, the tangled net of magical realism is almost completely intact, broken only here and there by individual qualms and reflections.